Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome to Outlaws of the Old West. This is brought to you by Snail Games, the same people who have Ark and Atlas and Dark and Light. They picked us up somewhere, or maybe they made it, I'm not really sure. This is their answer to the other game that I decided not to play because of all of its shock value and its family unfriendliness. So I went ahead and, and we're going to play this game. I've played it for the last four or five hours. I really like it. I, I've done quite a bit in the game. But I'm going to start over for you because uh, I learned a few things and it make it quicker for me just to show you from scratch, from the get-go. So it has a single-player uh, mode, so we're going to play that single-player mode for right now. I'm probably going to jump into a server later on down the road, but for right now we're just going to go ahead and go through the basics and, uh, and, and explore the game with you, see if it might be something you might be interested in. It is right now $15 on Steam for the next few days. So if you're watching this a little bit later, it's going to be more expensive. It's, uh, it started at 20 so it's probably going to go at, back up to 20 And it's an early access, so uh, they're going to go ahead and expand on this idea here. And they're going to flesh it out and in the next year or so. And so we'll see how long that takes. And I'm uh, hopefully it's going to turn out to be a good game. It's actually not a half bad game now. Um, it's a little clunky, but uh, I think we can get past that. I, I can look over, overlook that considering it cost me 15 bucks, less than the cost of a movie ticket. So I'm going to go ahead into the single player right here, guys. All right, the single player creation, is, I mean, the, the player creator is a little bit limited, but uh, you can have your first, middle, and last name if you'd like. I'm just going to call him Joseph. I'm just going to call him Joseph. Um, you can you add your whole, you know, whole long name if you want. It doesn't really matter. Occupation-wise, you can either have none, you can have carpenter, or you can have farmer. I don't think that it gives you anything extra yet in the game to if you if you have an occupation. I'm gonna do. I, I did none before, but we're gonna do farmer this time, just to just to see if it gives me any extra options. I don't think it does. So gender, you can be uh, male or you can be female. There are only two body types. You can't really change your char your character like you can in Ark or in Atlas. So there's only two, two body types. Uh, so you, pretty much it's all about your face right now. So let's go ahead and, and let's uh, let's do the hair. I'm going to give him longish hair because if he was in the desert or he's out in the wilderness, he would have longish hair. So I don't know. I don't want the ponytail thing. I know he's got they got ponytails. I don't want that. Um, that'll do. That's good. That's good enough. Uh, eye wise, I want him to have like blue eyes. He actually has kind of like like white eyes. What the heck was that? Um. Okay, that, that eyes number six would do. Facial hair, I want him to have a beard. I think it's like 37. Yep, sure enough. Uh, skin color, he's going to be a little darker because he'd be out in the sun. And hair color, we're going to go with this one right here, I think. And clothes are going to be black because you have these long johns on when you start. And so we're going to go ahead and start the game. Start off in a coffin, guys. In a coffin. Because somebody buried you by mistake. They left you for dead. But the buzzard knows best, doesn't he? Hello, how you doing? Let me out. Let me out of here now. You spawn randomly somewhere on the map, guys. And the map is huge. Which is why we're going to start the way I'm going to start right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. Oh, we're out in the middle of a field. Okay, Um, I need a horse. Of course, of course, right away. So right away, what I'm going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick up rocks and pick up sticks to get our tools right off the bat to start. You got to watch out for NPCs because there are bandits that will try to kill you. Oh, look at this right off the bat. This is actually cotton, guys. Cotton, it gives me cotton and plant fibers, so I'm, I'm down with that. That's great. Um, that's, that's actually really cool. I'm going to need a lot of that, that's for sure. And we need some stone, we need some wood. But right now, I'm just interested in making my tools so I can make a bow, and then I can make the spinning wheel so I can make a lasso. Those are the things. That's, that's in the order of how I'm going to start. So let's see if i got enough to do what i got to do. Um, maybe, yeah. All right, so it takes two stone and two wood for a hatchet. It takes two stone and two wood for an, a an axe. I got some berries uh, when, I, when I gathered that stuff, so that's cool. we got a little bit of food going on here. Let's put the axe right here. Pick right here. And let's go chop down a tree. And looks like we have a, a rock I can harvest right here. That's going to be sulfur. It looks like sulfur, I think. So let's harvest this sulfur right quick. Is this sulfur? Or is that just a rock? I don't know if I can har Can I harvest this rock or not? No, I don't think I can. I think it's a permanent rock. That's a permanent rock. And I don't. this is coal. I don't get anything but coal but from this, but I need stone. I'll take the coal. It's fine. I'm going to use it for uh, gunpowder later on, so 
Or you can use it to burn in your in your campfires too if you want. Take those thimble berries. All right, let's go ahead and um, chop down some trees. All right, this pink rock over here, this is um, this is salt. And you know, if you don't know anything about uh, gunpowder, guys, you need uh, you need coal, or you need salt, put saltpeter, and you need sulfur to make gunpowder. So instead of saltpeter, they decided to just call it salt. We have water here. That's good. That's good. There's some iron right here. That's gonna give me the stone I need to do what I gotta do. So we have actually everything we need right now in this area kind of there's an antelope right there i don't see any horses though we're gonna have to find a horse but i'm not too worried about it this very second because i gotta i gotta do a couple of things right quick before we have to get into that but this iron is going to help us down the road a lot this is great so if you look at the top left hand side of the screen guys you got your health your energy your thirst your hunger your temperature your morality and your level so temperature is a thing. So if you get too overheated, um, it might that might hurt you. Um, so you have to take your clothes off if you get too overheated. Also, you can you can uh, you can get too cold at night. So you're gonna have to use a fire or extra clothes to keep yourself warm. You can craft clothes in this game. There's quite a few cool clothes you can have. So you can change your, your style to be whatever you want it to be, and look as southwesterly as you want to. Uh, let me go ahead and grab this other. I'm gonna grab this this iron as well because we're gonna need it. All right, so. I don't think I have enough fiber to do what I got to do yet. I need five ropes for my for my bow. So that's a thing. So I need, and it's it's five fiber for each. So um, I have just enough for my five. So we go one, two, three, four, five. That means I can make a bow. That's the important one. So the bow is the big one. And do I have enough wood and stone to make arrows? I do. So stone and arrow, it's one stone and one wood for an arrow. So we'll make 20 arrows. That'll give me what I need for that. And then... Put this down here. Looks like we got a good spawn as far as daytime goes. We got a little bit of time before it's going to get too dark. Um, is this sulfur? Or is this just a regular stone? Oh, this is just stone. I'll take it. That's fine. Extra stone always helps. We're going to need it down the road. Alright, so... My pick's almost broken. But it's super cheap to make, so... There we go, it just broke. All right, we'll make another one. Another pick. And then, uh oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I hear a coyote. Coyotes will attack you, but if you if you put a couple arrows in them, same with wolves. Arrow, uh, coyotes and wolves. If you put a couple arrows in them, they leave you alone for a minute. This is hemp. Take this hemp. Yeah, cool. And I saw some sulfur over here. I'm never going to catch that antelope on, on foot. I have to use a horse. So um, there we go. Here's some hemp right here. I mean, a hemp. There's some sulfur right here, which is going to give me a little bit of salt, a little bit of uh, coal, and then a little bit of sulfur to make some gunpowder later on down the road. It won't be much, but it'll be a little bit. We're going to need a whole bunch more. A whole bunch more. But right now, let me make... I need to make 10 ropes. Do I have enough fiber? I don't have enough fiber, do I? I need more fiber. All right. Um, let's get some more wood, though. I need some more wood so that I can make a spinning wheel. I need 25 wood for a spinning wheel. Okay, that do that'll do. And the spinning wheel is right. 
Where is it? Here. I'll make the spinning wheel. And then if I can get enough fiber for 10 ropes, here's some cotton. I thought, and that's not cotton. If I can get enough fiber for 10 ropes, I can make a lasso. And a lasso is what I need for a horse. Okay, that wolf just spawned in. All right, so the, the, the world's still populating, guys. So it's going to take a minute. Hopefully we'll see a horse. Not too much long after I, I make my lasso. I'm just trying to find uh, fiber, man. What's up with the fiber? That's a bear. There we go. There's some cotton. How many can I make? Uh, they only gave me 13. It's over here. Some of the stuff that renders in makes it kind of hard to tell if it's, um, if it's anything usable or not. Because it, it like it like starts off as a as a blob and then it, and then it, and then it, it slowly fades into whatever it is. So it's gonna be running around here. There's another wolf right there. Looks like I've got oh those are bandits over uh, right over there. NPC bandits right directly ahead of me. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, we definitely don't want to go over there. Not yet. Even though. That's a sheep. That's not a wolf. That's a sheep. That's a sheep in wolf's clothing. Uh -huh. Once. One more time and he's mine. Oh, missed him. Got him. Nice. All right, just click on it, and I got it. It's six raw meat, two raw hide, and five wool, which is amazing. All right, we're still looking for fiber, though. The fiber hunt is real, people. That's his hemp. That's 39. How many of these can I make? Not enough. Oh, there's some more. Hang on. We might have it. I mean, I got seven. I need three more. All right, cool. That's what we needed. Let's go ahead and uh, put down this um, spinning wheel real quick, interact with it, and make our lasso. All right, guys, we have the lasso. The lasso is what we need to, to tame a horse, and that's that's all we need to do. Once we have a horse, we can go wherever we want on the map. All right, lasso's ours. Let's go ahead and put this down in our four slot right quick. And, uh, yeah, now we're good. Now, I don't even need this right now, so we're going to go ahead and demolish it. it I mean, you don't, you don't get anything back from it unless you have a special tool. There's a tool that allows you to, to get um, resources back. It's a special hammer. It's in one of the uh, one of the crafting areas. So, right now, guys, I think we may have to like chill out until until dawn, unless I find a horse. I think we're gonna. I mean, make a. Let me make a uh, torch right quick, and then that way I've got. I can see what the heck I'm doing. Then if we have to come across a horse, we'll get lucky. All right, guys, there's a horse right here. Uh, no sooner than I said it, as I, f I found a horse. Okay, so it's gonna be it's kind of dark. It's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see. So I'm gonna go into uh, I'm gonna hit B and go into first person mode. I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button, and then I'm gonna left click to to let this thing loose. Nope, missed him. Did I get him? I missed him. Dang it. Try again. Got him. All right, now I got to click on the uh, the red red bar. Boom. That's one. We got to do it three times. Twice. 
Boom, third time. That's all it takes, guys. You got yourself a horse. That's right, guys, we got ourselves a horse. Yeah, we did. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, guess what? I'm on the horse. Boom. All right, guys, well, you know what? <laughs> I know it's awfully weird and it's awfully quick, but guess what? I'm, I got myself a horse just that easy, and that's what we're gonna get to start the, start the uh, game off. So that's what you do. It just get yourself a bunch of fiber. Make yourself a make sure you get a bow and arrow first because you want to make sure you can defend yourself. But um, but yeah, all you need is, is 25 wood to make the spinning wheel, and you need enough. You need to make 10 rope, and then you make a lasso from the. From, oh my God! What's that? Oh God! No! Gotta go! Gotta go! Gotta go! No! Heck no! No! We're out of here. They're gonna kill my horse right off the bat. Can't have that. NPCs will kill you. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm out of here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. And we'll see you in the next episode of Outlaws. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.